Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a door that opens for your Guerrilla Attack fan game. So you want to make sure that you, um, so the first thing you're going to want to do, go to the currency channel in my Discord and get the coin script script and purchase. Now, uh, if you also want to use these for shopping, get coins display and then go uh, follow my currency tutorial. But um, if you want to learn how to make a door that opens for horror, then um, yeah, just get coin script and purchase. And the first thing you're going to want to do, you want to make a button that opens, that opens the door. And then secondly, you want to create the door. So let's say this is the door that needs to open in order for you to get out of horror. And you want to, and you want to make sure this door is a child of the button. And you want to give the button a purchase script and make sure that you do not give the door a purchase script because that's basically going to make it so that when you tap this the door will open and you don't want that so um and then ca call the cosmetic name door you don't have to just for organization purposes make sure the price is zero so that you don't have to pay for the door to open enable and disable um you don't have to do any of these this is um enable and disable is only for um the enable and disable is for Basically, like, this is used for cosmetics, and, uh, the button needs to know, or, like, the purchaser what, needs to know what the enable and disable buttons are for the cosmetics, so that you can enable those after the button is touched, and then this will disable. But, um, but yeah, you, you don't need to put anything in these, and that's really all you have to do. Um, if you want to make it so that the button doesn't disappear when, um, it is touched, you want to just create a duplicate of it and remove the second door from it. And now, uh, all it's going to do is look a bit brighter. As you can see, like this dark. Actually, not that. Actually, maybe if I put like some texture on it. Just put some party hat material that I got. Why can't I put it on here? There. Let's see. Um, does it look any brighter? I guess not, but. Yeah, just create a duplicate of the button so that doesn't disappear. And then, um, you can run back and the door should be opened. And, um, my Unity crash is so quick, I don't think I can even test. Oh yeah, make sure it triggers on the button, or else that won't work. But, that's really all you need to do to make a door that opens. And when you play your game, this button should open whatever door. And if you want to make it open multiple doors, for some reason, then, uh, make a second one and make sure it's still a child of button um and that's really all you need to do hope you guys have an amazing day and goodbye